And we're back. Back. Back to the future. The Kardashians are cursed. Back. <laughs> back. <laughs> backed up sewage. <laughs> <laughs> my bag against the wall. <laughs> yep, the Kardashians are cursed. You're just coming out with all kinds of curses and spells. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. You have something against them? No, I don't. Yeah. I wish them well. Like a water well? Like you like, want to push them down the well? No, like I wish to help them out of the well. The spring of lies. Welfare. Farewell, sure. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's negative. <laughs> You're secretly saying goodbye. <laughs> I got you. I'm always into secrets and conspiracies. Uh, are you part of the 39th? I'm part of the 40th. Uh, <laughs> minus one. Yeah, save one. Yeah. Lashes. I'm yes. not talking about eyes. Save us, save us. <laughs> 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 well, apparently the Kardashians were cursed by some witch in Armenia many years ago under many moons yeah well before we start i want to say welcome <laughs> <laughs> this will tell us about these many moons <laughs> yeah so well that's pretty much it um apparently every guy that they date now their life gets ruined like all of them yeah every there's, there's a whole mess of them i don't yeah. know them all but apparently somebody did their research and their math and uh, it wasn't the witch of the east it was Modern people, I think even when they own their own Kardashian women, sisters, moms were um, saying how every guy that comes in contact with them goes from 100 to zero. Wasn't one of them married to like a famous rapper? Probably. He's not a famous anymore. His whole career got trashed. Probably. He probably went from Jay-Z to J-A. <clears throat> That, that might be good. Or maybe he's JG or something. Was that like Ja? Ya? Jaira? Yeah, something. Yeah, it's JG or something. Or, uh, JG Wentworth? Uh, yeah, uh, probably JW. Hey, they got cash. Yeah. Get it when you need it the most. Oh, yeah. Well, except that guy if he's cursed. I actually heard something about them. You know, they have a brother. And what the theory was is they kept their brother fat so they could always use his fat for lipo implantations fat implantations to fill oh. up their lips and their butts and everything because they needed some fat and since they can't be too fat they needed somewhere to get all this fat oh, so they neat. kept their brother fat so they could use him for all the lipo implantations wow that's uh that's genius if they did hats on to them i mean oh, yeah if they'll do it to their brother then sure they'd do it to their spouse for sure well i'm sure there's many men Many, Many men. men. <laughs> I'm Butterfly sure. Butterfly effect. Uh, <laughs> that's its own conspiracy. Yeah, that's the right. Butterfly effect. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sure there's many men. Who, Shout out uh, to 50 Cent. Yeah. <laughs> um, who uh, would love to give up all kinds of uh, flesh to them. Like All they have to do is ask on their beck and call. No, I wasn't there like a Hulu movie where that woman got a duck, a duck, got kidnapped. I can't even say that word. And um, that guy eventually cut her butt off. And mm. you know, she was like in some kind of place where they sold flesh. Wasn't there yeah. like a Hulu movie with that? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So you, so you think that they maybe they're secretly selling mm. flesh? Shout out to Hulu. Yeah. No, they're not. Se they're not selling it. They're just using, putting it on their body. So basically, they're uh, they're kind of like those letters you'd see from a serial killer, where somebody takes a bunch of magazine letters and something to put it all on one piece of paper to make a letter. Maybe that's what the Kardashians are all about. But basically, it's their body. So they're basically just a bunch of used parts from other Barbies. Man, they are really interconnected. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's about as close as you can get. I'm going to uh, put my yeah. brother in me without him being in me. Yeah, it's like, how close are you to your brother? It's like, he is, we are literally Harvesting. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, he's got to be willingly doing it because, you know, he could say something. He could, but they probably cut his tongue out, too. They probably have his tongue. No, I think he taught, he was dating somebody. I think it was some, uh, yeah, I don't know. But he was dating somebody, so he's a normal person. 
It's just uh, unless that's not actually their real brother. Yeah, that's they true. Have their yeah. real brother locked away in some. I mean, cell if or you something. can do stuff like with Caitlyn Jenner and change everything, oh yeah, yeah maybe they're changing all kinds of things. Uh, changing the airwaves. They're changing the world. They changed my life. They changed it. They changed my oil. <laughs> yeah, that made me change my underwear too. <laughs> well, good on them. It's a butterfly effect. <laughs> I respect them even more now. Oh yeah. I already respected them, but now I'm, yeah, I've, I find myself respecting them over oh, and over yeah. again. Well, this was an inspection and it passed. So now they get inspected and now they're respected. And now they're the spectacle. Yeah. They have passed all specs. Yeah. Yeah. 100. Yeah. Now we just have to respect them. There's nothing else we can do except respect them. Yeah. Well, we could disrespect them, but they passed the test. Yeah, no. Wow, that's backwards. Like you're out there, not just respecting, you're actually disrespecting. So that's it's like right. a dis, it's like well, you, a negative, it's a, a bar quonon. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's the beauty of math. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beauty of simplicity. Yeah, we're a bunch of mathematicians. <laughs> yeah, we're probably a bunch of spectacles. <laughs> yeah, eyeglasses. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, monocules. Oh, yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah. yeah okay. And then you have your uh, bicules. And then you have bifocals and... Yeah, bifocules and monocules. Yeah. Then you have telescopes. Well, I don't know how you illuminate something or illuminati something. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Um, well, that reminds me of the Illuminatis. I found out this past week that if you spell Illuminati backwards and you say .com, it takes you to the NSA website. Now, you just have to say that or... No. I, I would we'll have a special guest next week. We'll we'll have Google on the scene. But I would ask it now, but I, I turned their mic off because they're listening. Well, Google but himself will be here. Next week. Wow. But uh <clears throat> No, I, I, I didn't believe it, so I typed it in myself. You have to take the word Illuminati, spell it backwards and put dot com and it will take you straight to the NSA website. And I thought it was a spoof website. <laughs> I thought it was a spoof website, but then I typed NSA.gov and it's the real NSA website. So then I started researching to figure out what in the world it is. Why, who, how, and what did this? Because you know the government's not going to do this. So there, apparently there's some guy named John Foley or something from Utah in 2002 bought the word Illuminati backwards. It's like E to you, Lumai, or whatever, however you say it backwards. But <laughs> I don't even try. But uh, <laughs> he bought that domain name and then forwarded that address to the NSA website. So that's how it happened. But you already know the government knows that this is going on. And somehow they allowed this to continue. That's what's weird. It's like, you know now that your name, which is not just any NSA is one of those secret intelligent agencies. It's not like the FBI or, you know, the U.S. Border Patrol. This is the NSA <laughs> And you know now your name is connected to the Illuminati. Yeah. And you want to continue to propagate that. So it adds a layer of conspiracy to say maybe the government, the United States government, wants it to be have this illusion, illumination to the idea that the Illuminati is connected with the United States government. Or they just don't care. I was going to say if they take it down... By the time they find out about it, it'll be probably famous, and they'll be like, well, we're just going to leave it up. Now, yeah, if if you're nobody and they find out about it while you're nobody, yeah, they'll probably... It's even on a... They have their own Facebook page, this backwards Illuminati thing, and it's like you would have thought that they... Because they'll tell people to t take down their Facebook page, all kinds of stuff, but this thing, they're like, no, we want it to be continually connected. And well, that's, that's what... Well, what do you think NA, NSA stands for? It's no seculars allowed. Or no, no, no suspicion allowed. Yeah, or non sequiturs allowed. Or no spect. Back to the spec. Yeah, no spectacles allowed. Sure. The non spec. Whatever it is. The non spec association. Or not sound here. Or not here. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no sound allowed. Yeah, no sound allowed. It's the quiet place. Was yeah. that called the Bird Box? Yeah. Was that? And it, was, there's also a, play, a movie called The Quiet Place too. Yeah, oh yeah. So it's like no sound allowed. It's all connected. It's literally like Disney and his. I deer. like that. The no sound allowed because you know there there are some mysterious things about no sound that makes you have this ominous feeling. You can't hear anything, and people can creep on creep up on you, and you'd never know. Yeah. 
It's all the, hey, you know, when the government starts propagating things with movies, Quiet Place, Bird Box, all this stuff. Sneakers. Sneakers. They're quiet. Sketchers. Well, that's, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, you get those sketchies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Got the sketchies. Yeah, because they're sneaking. They're sneaking around it's with sneakers. That's what I'm saying. Mega Man. Yeah. I mean, how do you think they got the name Sneaker? They weren't because they were loud. They're really quiet. But yeah, I would assume because everybody back in the day probably had those platform shoes or those dress yeah. shoes. Or those they made are, a lot of, yeah. lot of noise. But then sneakers, they're made out of foam and rubber and they'll make a lot of noise. Yeah, or you have those erotic librarians walking down the hallways like clop, clop, clop. You yeah. can hear the, the high the, heels. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a good theory, too. I have to look into that. And maybe sneakers are from sneaky. Sketchy, Ste- sketchy people wear sketchers and sneakers. Yeah. It's it makes, a known fact. It makes sense. And then you have Nike saying, just do it. Yeah. And it's like, wow, well, okay. Yeah, that's all, not that even was gonna, all the approval. I'm not even going to play with that word. You can get real touchy with Nike. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, wherever that came from. That's Japanese, so they're safe. Because <clears throat> there's apparently Oriental words that sound real close to certain other words. And so. Like what? Uh, people can look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese words that sound close to the other words. <laughs> yeah, and I guarantee you they'll probably pull up something that it's right along those lines. Like the it, NSA. No, it's Nike. <laughs> it's Walmart. <laughs> yeah, you know, I always thought it was weird that Newport cigarettes never got sued because, you know, it's the same exact symbol, just upside down. So even though they made Newports, it's still the old one. Well, Newport, I think, is a city. Like, there's probably a bunch of cities. Like, I can think of one now in Florida. I think it's called, like, Newport Richie. There's probably a bunch of Newports. But it used to be this menthol, well, I probably still around, menthol cigarette. And it's called Newports. And their logo's a green swoosh, just like Nike. I always wonder how they didn't get sued. Well, like I said, if they're broadening it, like, you have uh, the old Orleans. Well, is there old Orleans? <laughs> Orleans? <laughs> yeah, and then there's the new Orleans. Is there an old Yes, there was, but it got transferred to New Orleans. When when did that happen? That's uh, I think a conspiracy. It was, uh, 1905. Really? Yeah. Uh, check out. Um, when when was the Louisiana Purchase? <laughs> I can't remember that one, but this one was off the top of my head. I was going to say, was it's like, I'm sure it had to be before that if the old Orleans is 19 something. I think his name was uh, Richard Bauckham. Uh, <laughs> Bachface? <laughs> <laughs> no, bar, Bachham. Oh, Bachface. Like, you know, uh, when you pitch and it's a Bach. It's chicken like head? You, no, it's like when you fake pitch, it's called a Bach. It's like, oh, he Backed. So then yeah. you get a free base. That's what my dad always used to say, too. He's like, I don't Bach. <laughs> <laughs> he always said, I don't Bach. <laughs> It's like throw your throw your nu- knuckles up it, if you buck or yeah, something. Yeah, throw your nubs up. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, I think. Welcome was, world. Uh, I think he was <laughs> the mirror madness or whatever. <laughs> March madness, uh, the yeah. basketball. Yeah, the magic of mirrors. Or whatever. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Not a clown house. I was, I was naming. I thought you were naming. Man, we're like on three <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is de- we're we're in parallel universes within the same room. <laughs> yeah, it's deep. Yeah. So I said, I hope you brought your shovel because we're gonna dig it. Yeah, we're gonna take all that dog poop and yeah. slang it. Yeah, can, the question is, can you dig it? You but, remember, did you do you remember that old website when you were a kid called uh, <laughs> Jenkins? It's Ask Jenkins. Yes. Yeah. There's also um, text. There's just like. It's like Chia or something. <laughs> Chia. <laughs> yeah. It was where it was like Chica or Chia or Chaka or something. It was weird. Mm. It was in school and you could literally text it anything and ask it anything and it was supposed to give you answers. I remember Jenkins, but yeah, I don't I don't even know. I wonder if Jenkins is still around. Well, anyways, what else you got? Well, I, yeah, I was going to talk oh, a little more. Oh, it's not Jenkins. It's Jeeves. Oh. Ask Jeeves. And yeah, it's still around. Oh. Yeah, I remember Jenkins, but yeah, I don't remember Jeeves. <laughs> well, there could be a Mandela right there. <laughs> <laughs> I it's doubt like, it. It's a very foggy memory. So You and I both remember Jenkins, but apparently it's asked Jeeves. Well, Jeeves, yeah, I don't remember anything about Jeeves. But I, I, the one thing I remember in high school, when I was in high school, they just came out with flip phones, and um, people still had the bricks. But Yeah, apparently it's always been asked Jeeves. It's that guy in the suit that's going like this. Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think I've ever seen him yeah, or heard of him. You and I both 
our our universes have collided where we see Jenkins, but it's not. It's Jeeves. Well, uh, like the Spider Mans. Yeah, I like sitting on a toilet and shooting web or what. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wow. ask. You gotta ask my doctor. Excellent. It's like yeah. So yeah, I was gonna talk more about like uh, old Carolina and all that stuff, but it's fine. Uh, that's probably a conspiracy for another, another day. You have to go back into history. Well, it's the old old United States. It's the un-United States. Well, there is the old York. The non-United States. Yeah, the non sequitur. The just the just the states. Yeah, you have like that's like ad hoc. The states of America. Yeah, where the vultures gather. Yeah, that's probably better if we had the states of America instead of United States. It's like the United Kingdom, but we're not a kingdom because we're a goulash. I don't know. It's just different things. Like, we're America. They're a kingdom. Well, divided we stand. Whatever America means. I guess that's a continent. I didn't think about that. We're the United Continent. We just took over there. There's South America, North America, but we just said we're United America. Yeah, the United States of North America. No, we didn't say North. We just claimed it all. We're United the States. United of, States of the continent of America, right? That's North of the South. Yeah, America. we claim Canada. We claim Mexico. We claim Brazil. We claim well, everything. We claim Calico. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that technically we probably are. I think there was like supposed to. You know how the euro is controlled all by the UN? Yeah, the United Nations. There was supposed to be this thing called the Amero, which there was supposed to be one currency for all of the Americas, North, South, everything is supposed to be called the Amero. Well, I, I've heard of the Camaro, which is controlled by <laughs> gangsters. No, the Camaro is like a car by yeah. Chevy. Yeah, it's yeah. controlled by Chevy. I'm not talking about Chase. Shout uh, out to National Lampoon's Vacation. Talking about Chevrolet. Chevrolet? Chevrolet. She Chevrolet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called, Chevrolets? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it's called. Yeah, I thought You so. hit it right on the nail. Yeah. It's I like used, Old York. And, I, used, I used like those box Chevys. Uh, oh, there's also uh, Old Hampshire nothing. and Old Jersey. There's a lot of old cities that we and states that are part of the United... Old Princeton. Yeah, there you go. J. Edwards. Probably Jane, Jane Well, there's Jenkins. a lot of... Old Princeton can be referred to a lot of things, but I'm sure there's old all kinds of stuff. I mean, I, I we, you and I could be old. The, yeah, it's subjective. I mean, I, I have an old uncle. I don't even, I, yeah, I have some uncles. Yeah, but nobody's calling my uncle new uncle. But you don't do that with new Braska. No, I guess the only thing you call new with people are babies, newborn babies. Yeah, because they're not an old born baby. Yeah, but once they get home, they're not, well, I guess once they get one, usually nobody calls it a newborn anymore. It's like you still got this newborn word for the first year, but then after they're one, they're disqualified. They're an old born. It's yeah. kind of like uh, Benjamin Button. They become infants. Yeah, he was actually straight out the womb, old born. Old butt. <laughs> like Jason Bourne. No, Jason. That guy. Jason as above below. Yeah. He was, he was Jason Bourne, old born. Mm -hmm. That's just uh, boring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, those movies weren't bad. It, it got progressively more not so good, but the beginning ones were probably pretty interesting. Have you seen uh, uh, the uh, Benjamin Button? Benjamin Buttface. No. Yes. Like Beavis. Uh, I watched Beavis and Butthead. What'd you think? I don't know. That was back in the day with Ren and Stimpy. I liked that too. What did you think of the lesbian seagulls? The ones that defecated on everybody? Yes. That was a pretty innovative trick from those teenagers. I never even thought of that, but when I watched it, I was like, those are some smart kids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like- Genius. Put the put the laxatives in there and everybody will get it'll become toilet time. Well, nobody in old or New York like pigeons. They're rats with wings, right? But for some weird reason, nobody's doing anything about it. And it was up to those young kids to poison them. I mean, they not just poison, that that was just laxative, but somebody could easily poison all the rats with wings. And even all the rats, they could just give out rat poison for the rats and give out Bird poison for the birds. Kill all the pigeons in the area. Yeah, but then you lose all the fun. Yeah. What fun? The next generation of kids won't never be able to enjoy the laxatives and the birds. I don't think those kids are going outside anyway, so... Well, yeah, I guess. And, you know, you miss out because that... Without kids that played outside, we would have never experienced that video. That's all the beauty 
of at least going outside and pranking the birds. Yeah. I think you just spoke for the heart of America. <clears throat> well, we all want that. We all love that video. I don't think there's anybody that didn't. I think the ones who even got defecated on laughed once they watched the video. They probably didn't at the time. Yeah, I was going to say, some of them were like their coffee, yeah. they're their coffee, something dropped in their yeah. coffee, something but dropped on their hair. After they went back and watched the video, then I don't think it's, I think you have to laugh. Yeah, I mean, imagine you're getting ready to eat a sandwich and all of a sudden it like. Well, some people were looking up and it probably went in their mouth. Yeah. It's like, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm saying that video, yeah. it's tough not to laugh. That's one of those uh, don't laugh challenges. You know what's funny is um, apparently, speaking of per- pigeon poop, um, there's there used to be islands out in the uh, gulfs, and uh, these islands were uh, about 10, 20 feet high, was pure pigeon poop. Oh, yeah. Guano. Yeah. It's not pigeon. It's uh, seagulls. Yeah, Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> no, no. That's <laughs> where they put all those uh, terrorists. They're in Cuba, there's a prison. That's where they put. Not, that's not <laughs> guano. Well, they they made uh um, what's it called? They made nitrogen. They got nitrogen. Yeah, that from that's it. actually yeah. what's in your poo. All everybody's poo's got nitrogen. Yeah. It's it's heavily concentrated in nitrogen. But yeah, yeah, no, the the bird poo, the guano. That, that's some of the most strongest poo. It actually saved America and then the rest of the world because they all had to start mining for that to. Give the nutrients for yeah, the plants. Yeah, because they overfarmed. Stuff. Yeah, you know? I, I read about that. Yeah, yeah. It's they, still uh, it's still great great fertilizer. Yeah, it was like uh, it produces um, is that Manolo or it's meniscus just, or uh, Ebola know, it's just or something? Nitrogen. Monu mono no something. Nah, that's a disease. Yeah, it produces some kind of disease too. Nah, N- nah. Numa Pro- <laughs> air. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, it's it it just probably produces fruit. <laughs> yeah, well, it does. And now we're all fed and well fed. And thank, thank, thank you, pigeons and seagulls. Yeah. So we all believe seagulls are real, but everybody questions pigeons. That's what the pigeons bring to the table. They just come around stealing all our bread. That's what I'm saying. They poop on our cars and our heads. Yeah, but the least the pigeons brought us, I mean, the seagulls, they brought us real good fertilizer. Nobody's collecting pigeon poo. Uh, I, I would say I, I've done my part in producing a lot of good fertilizer, too. Yeah, but you don't use it. No, but somebody out there does. Would probably. you use your own fertilizer? Yeah, if I had my own yard, but I don't, so. I can't wait. I can't wait. Absolutely. I want to see I've you. always wondered why people don't do it. Go poop in your yard and it's watch kinda, the plants it's grow. It's probably kind of like, you know, you have to have a <laughs> fetish for men that likes drinking their own wife's breast milk. There's like a fetish for that. Well, see that that's that's a little too. Or much. Or like eating placentas. There's right. a fetish for that. There's probably got to be a fetish for you to use your own poo because I mean it just takes some task. No, it's not that. It's like so. Let's say I'm I'm uh, making a bunch of corn. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> let's say let's say I'm growing my own corn it's in my backyard. One of the few things that are gonna be stuck left in the poo. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say I'm making my own corn in the backyard or some carrots. Just, uh, I was just some, sling the poo. I bought some really grow. ripe tomatoes. Okay, so I'm I'm uh, fertilizing this stuff out in my backyard to grow it nice and nutritious. I'll even pee out there too to make sure it gets all the nitrogen and nutrition it needs. Because I know the rainwater is going to come and wash the spider out. So I poop and pee in my own backyard and I fertilize my own corn. My own tomatoes, my own watermelon. It's not like it doesn't work. I'm sure it I can, works. Yeah. Imagine the potassium you'd find in the beans that come out of my yards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it works. But, you know, it's like people, why don't people use their dog poo? I can get lima beans. Why don't I can they, get well, black Why don't they beans, use their animal beans. poo? You know, animals poo a lot. They Yeah, they could do that too, but... Um, yeah, they would have to tra- first of all train their animal to poop in a certain area. Well, certain you know, squadron. even if you don't, you still got to pick. A lot of people <laughs> they pick up the dog's poo anyway, and it's like, why don't they just? It's already in a bag, and they just save it and use it. But they don't. Nobody uses their animal. No, poop. they just throw it away. And it's waste. No. Yeah, people. There's there's children in Africa. They're starving right now. Yeah, but I don't think they want corn. <laughs> Well, they do. They'd eat anything. They're over there eating dirt sandwiches. Next. I'm just saying. Think of the children. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> have you heard of Snapku eyes? Yeah, I have. 
I don't know if you're pronouncing it right, because I don't even know how to pronounce it right, but all I can say is I've heard of it. It's when you have like the white of your eye showing. Yeah, underneath. Oh, there's both. Underneath. There's ones underneath, and then there's one that's above. And then some people have both, where yeah. it, it's, it, and I don't know. They say it's weird, but I'm like, it just sounds like a genetical mutation. I may have said it wrong. I think it's Sanpaku. Yeah, maybe. Sanpaku eyes. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, it's a Japanese yeah, term. Uh, Sanpaku, uh, yeah. alpacas, it's, uh, alpacu. Yeah, it, it might be related to the alpaca. Yeah. Alpacu or um, uh, apkalu. Uh, <laughs> um, Anunnaki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, who knows the derivatives? So these Sanpaku eyes, apparently if there's white underneath your iris, uh that means you've been through a lot of an, uh, uh, tragedy in your life, and it means that you will always be through tragedy in your the rest of your life. And you'll probably die a horrible death. Probably. And so basically it just means that like your eyes are like this, so you can see the- That looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, yeah, you see it. It's like, hey, Bob. Like, you can see the office workers have this. Construction workers, you know, they have good, healthy, supple eyes. Well, I've seen a lot of people that are healthy, prominent people that have it. Like Aaliyah had it, that famous singer, and she died in an airplane accident. Because uh, I've read about this. They were pointing out like Billy, Billy I, Irish, Irish, Eilish. Yeah, whatever that girl, she has it. <coughs> she has it too. So people say she's going to die a horrible death. And uh, there's a whole conspiracy about her. Like she came back as another person in her previous life. She wasn't. She was famous, and you can't be double famous, apparently, in your second life. And now she's going to be famous again. And if she doesn't give up her famousness before she turns a certain age, she's going to die a horrible death. And these hmm. sapaku packing up my eye vision. Yeah, Kalu are going to come and get her. Uh, the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki. Yeah. The butterfly effect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, I don't know, there's a whole... People are fascinated with that woman. And well, it, if you die from falling, like in a plane crash... Your eyes are going to go like this, so I don't know how it could still be that tragic. Well, I don't I don't know. I just, there's a lot of people that had these uh, synoptic eyes, and... Well, yeah. if you look at Tom Cruise's jet. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you've seen his jet? He has a jet? He's showed it to everybody. Oh. Did he pull his pants down? <laughs> <laughs> no uh oh he, he, oh, he opened he, his box of chocolate he keeps his pants on his waist um because it was past tense but yes if he's talking in past tense well he doesn't usually but so when he was flying his jet in his latest movie the maverick shout out to tom cruise cruise yeah you said hanks no, Tom Cruise. Oh, I was talking about Hanks. That's why I said chocolate. Oh, no, no. That's a different Tom. Oh, you're talking I'm not Tom? talking about Sawyer. Uh, okay. Not talking about Clancy. There's a lot of Toms. I'm not talking about Jerry. Okay. Specifically, Cruise. Cruise. Okay. He's got a really nice jet, and um, he can go really fast. He's really good with it. Talking about you Top Gun. You can actually see, yes, and the newest, his latest Maverick movie, where you see, like, the pilots, if they're going, if the G-force is going up, then their eyes are going to go like this. Um, you know, if they're going down, their eyes are going to go like this. So they're going in and out of tragedy in their life. Uh, probably, because they're one step away from crashing and dying. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of depth. Do you believe in this concept? No. But it's not the dumbest thing I've heard. But you know, everything that's a conspiracy came from some derivative of truth. So there, there probably some kind of pattern of correlation that the ancients saw. Just like colors, you know, people who like and wear certain colors, there's a certain derivative of their personality. And it's not like 100%, but there's, there's some kind of correlation between something. So I'm sure this has something, but I don't know enough. And I'm sure there's people who do. And if you do, please comment in our comments. Correct us all. Tell us the truth about the Sanpaki eyes. And uh, San Pakistan. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and tell us well, the truth. Well, it's, yeah, like legends. This is how legends are born. Yeah, I was going to say, this uh, is how legends uh, are no. made. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> when, when you look at their brasses, 
it it forces you to come up with theories. Like when you look at Superman, there was probably a superhuman man who had a lot of strength. Like if you've seen Glass or Unbreakable, that reminds me. You got to be careful where you go with Dave's diners, because apparently, <clears throat> and I I checked it. I double checked it. I looked up the statutes. Cockroaches. 100 miles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're talking about food. <laughs> 100 miles from the border of the United States, the Border Patrol has legal authority to do illegal search and seizures. And I thought it was all spoof. You know, everybody can come up with anything and hyperbolicize anything. <clears throat> it's real. And I can even pull up the statute. So. It's USC statute 1357, and it says that warrantless searches of automobiles, convoyances, and other things within reasonable distance from external boundaries of the United States, as authorized by the regulations, can be performed, and the Attorney General regulates under statute 287 that a reasonable distance is within 100 air miles of any external boundary of the United States. So, everybody's better start moving to Kansas. So, literally, if I'm outside 101 miles outside the border, Mr. Krabs can literally come to me and demand me. Well, if you're 100, of me, if you're 101, they can't do anything. Oh, if I'm inside, okay. Yeah, if 99, I'm inside. Yeah, if you're 99. Yeah, then he could literally come and demand of me my secret formula. Yeah, he could come in and say... This is, this is, um, how legends are made. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like this, Mr. Krabs? Uh, yeah. And I, I would literally be left to say, literally, it's like, you can have all you want, Mr. Krabs. Yeah. And Mr. Krabs is going to take it. Wow. And I really did. I thought it was hyperbolic, but it's real. It's but everywhere. only within the hundred miles. Yeah. Radius. Like within it, because the, I get the logic. I just don't, it's unconstitutional, but apparently the Supreme court which is supposed to deem what is constitutional, deemed that it's legitimate and authorized, that they need to give- Are they deputized? <laughs> you got to ask musicians about that. But- Can they blow me clean away? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, at, wow. at the saloon. Wow, you heard it here, folks. Yeah, another one bites the dust. <laughs> 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 Uh, I just thought it was crazy the Supreme Court ruled on it too, think, saying that it is legal for the Border Patrol to do these warrantless search and seizures. And apparently, and I get the logic, which is within this boundary of area, if somebody crosses the border and has illegal contraband of whatever sort, you can catch them within 100 miles and you know that's you can expedite this process real fast because... After 100 miles, you may never see them again. So you just need to hurry up and do it. Like maybe they just crossed the border a couple hours ago. And if you spend the time to get the, the warrant and all this other stuff, it could be days. And by that point, this person's already now in Kansas and you'll never find them again. But if you can just have the authority just to do it right now, you might be able to stop these people. So I get the logic, but regardless lo lo logic or not, it infringes the possibility that this could be abused to anybody within the United States. Well, yeah, let's say that you are within the 90-mile radius, but the government seizes you <laughs> anyway, and it just pulls you out to the 101-mile oh, radius. Nobody yeah. would be able to pr prove anything. Yeah, It's literally they're just going to take as, all, as much secret well, money as they it, want. Well, at least it brings the proclivity that it could be abused. It doesn't mean it will, I, but because it's there, they can, and there's nothing you can do about the it. The government is very abusive. Yeah, well, everybody's abusive. <laughs> uh, we, we can see that on... Like, literally, go on Walmart's website and look up shoes. That's a whole different abuse. <laughs> That's that Epstein Maxwell abuse. Which is, which, which, but then, yeah, I guess you can say the government's involved because they're not releasing the list of people that Maxwell helped contribute to ex, uh, uh, Epstein and why they won't release the list of people that Well, they're literally probably all at Maxwell's house. If you like that coffee, but all you got to do is save one for Folgers. We know who sells Maxwell House. If you like to wake up. 
Maxwell houses. If you want to get Walmart. woke. Yeah, go to go to if you want to get woke, get go to Walmart and get Maxwell House. No, if you want to get woke, you can get Folgers. Support the if cause. you want to get weak, then you need to go take Maxwell. <laughs> He's gonna make you weak in the knees. Well, yeah, it's like you're you're trying to support the cause of trafficking. Yeah, with driving without a license. Yeah. yeah. Well, human trafficking. And I learned also. Well, I'm not even gonna talk about what I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, take it for what you will. We need that secret it formula. Is SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> it's technical. Well, we're gonna have Google next week contributing to verify our facts. What the <clears throat> secret formula that you're about Anything, to give us? Anything. We're gonna make sure Google verifies our information. It's so good. <laughs> and we're gonna ask them what they think about SpongeBob. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Mr. Krabs. <laughs> But take it for what you will, illegal, warranted, warrantless ser- search and seizures can be performed if you're within 100 miles of the border of the United States. And again, that is USC code 1357. So you can look it up for yourself. It is not a spoof. There are websites that have tried to debunk it, but that's the code. Look it up. So everybody move to Kansas. <laughs> I me <mean>, boy. <laughs> and we can all go down the rabbit hole with Alice in Wonderland. Alistair Beg. You're all used up. <laughs> bag. Bag. Beg. Alistair Wonderland. Yeah, sure. Yeah, anyways. What else you have on your tablet? <laughs> <laughs> um so apparently the earth is bigger than we thought. Oh no. Yeah. Talking about like because it's a pear? By uh, Neil deGrasse. Yeah, because he's got too, he's smoking too much grass. Yeah, it could be Neil deGrasse. So he's probably degrassing. He's, <laughs> well, like, he's, he's, he's trying to he's trying to get off of it because he's yeah. been on too much grass. So he's degrassing. Yeah, he's Tyson on it. <laughs> yeah. Neil de- yeah, Neil I, deGrasse Tyson. I yeah. heard that Mike Tyson's a time traveler. He probably is. Mm. I've seen videos of people with iPhones and the like. Well, I'm saying specifically Tyson, but anyways, what's up with deGrasser? <laughs> he's or, a stain has no, or does it have, <laughs> or does have anything to do with the earth size? Uh, yeah, so Neil, and I'm not talking about Armstrong. <laughs> so it does have something with grass. Hey, oh, your, no, no, you uh, got me. Wow. Wow, that's mind tricks. Yeah, that's all right. Wow, you're all used up. I told you. We're, <laughs> we're quantum entangled. Have all you want, Mr. Krabs. We're entanglements. <laughs> it's like a spider. <laughs> the butterfly. Um, so, yeah, um, apparently the earth is neither here nor there it's not flat it's not hollow it's simply just as we always believed it to be since the mayans and um it's a globe and it's just bigger and badder than we've always thought so instead of so you take the flat earth theory for example with the uh um anunnaki trails (laughs) <laughs> you're talking about, you're talking about like butt streaks yeah <laughs> <laughs> the uh the uh pap schmears and um wow. what's it what's it called the gynos and uh and, and antarctica not anunnaki and uh, antarctica you're talking, about, you're talking about the ice walls yes the ice walls there you go thank you the ice walls and what was his name uh captain bird yeah he flew the coop and he went right over the wall exploring and proving beyond the shadow of the wall that there is more, land more land more land so uh, yeah, but, <laughs> but how does that how does that work with a globe though so the globe says that we basically the map has to be re- reconfigured again but um the um ice wall is basically the whole sphere of the globe that we know is. So you have North America, South America, uh, Africa, such as, and it's all inside. <laughs> the, the, it's all inside the circle. But apparently, this is just like this blip on this large planet called Earth, and we could actually yeah, explore well, let's, outside. Let's, if let's, that makes any sense, yeah, I do. But I might have just botched it all. Theoretically, though. Let's say we have a <clears throat> a boat or an airplane. What causes us, like a personal one, what causes us not to pass this boundary? Salt water. <laughs> <laughs> How does that stop anything? Um, because <clears throat> you can't survive in 
unlimited salt water out there. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. If, if so, you're trying to sail. You know, you're gonna run out of water before you get there. No, I'm saying if if you're saying that all we know is because there's a picture that says this is all we know, then technically our boat should be able to go past that boundary because Antarctica is not there's an, an ice, ice wall. Well, apparently it is with this theory. So there's an ice wall on a globe. Yeah. So basically. It's like you look at the. Uh, so it's basically the flat Earth mo- model concaved. No, so you look at like the uh, red spot on Jupiter. That's a big red spot on Jupiter. <clears throat> it would literally be like that, but imagine the ice wall around that red spot. That's what I'm saying. So basically, you're talking about the same theory the flat Earth people have, just putting it on a globe. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And so basically, the ice wall in uh, circles around that red spot and that whole red spot is the whole map of our earth as we know it but there's so much outside of it that's to be d yeah i think the math won't add up here but it's a theory i guess you could we could run it uh but i i think some of the math will start becoming problematic But I, I guess why I guess it's because people aren't satisfied with the flat Earth theory, so they just want to take it's like we don't want to we don't want to sound like we don't believe in a globe, but we don't want to deny that there could be hidden stuff from the government. So let's combine the two and say we believe everything the flat Earth community is saying. We just want to believe it with a globe. Some of the people that believe in this are probably they probably are converts. They probably probably were, were converse. Probably now they're converse. They used to be... And they're driving in convoys. Yes. And and then they are participating in convalescence. Com- yeah, convalescence. Eventually they become convicts. Yeah. And, and it's not because they con the vix, like the victim. And then they hide themselves with contour makeup. Yeah. There you go. Cover girl. Yeah. Um, the cops. <laughs> <laughs> the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. I get the theory. So, I, yeah. Yeah. So the, you have hollow earth now. You have flat earth. You have just classic earth. earth. And then you have <laughs> big earth. Hmm. I mean, I, if you give me enough time, I can probably come up with 10 more theories, but uh, you can't prove any of it. Well, no, you can't prove anything. It's, if we could go to space, like if it was provable and we all could have access to space, like anybody, without all this cost or anything, like we all had like an elevator. <clears throat> and somehow we could get to the moon. Then we could prove everything. Like, they, you know, they've always said for decades that they're going to make like this space elevator so we could get to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> if there was ever a way to do that, then all this would be put to bed. But because nobody, and even Dyson, <laughs> Dyson <laughs> DeGrasse, he even, there's a video of him that's viral. Because you know that uh, famous sky jumper the red bull guy who went up to like 120,000 feet in space and he jumped and everybody uses that to say so you can see the curvature but he even came out and said he used that same example and he said you can't see the curve at this point because he brings out a beach ball of the earth and he says he's literally only going to be about this far away from the earth if you're this far away from the earth you can't see the curve he even says it's flat yeah so at that point which it means you just can't see it. You have to get farther away. Which, well, especially if the Earth is bigger than. It, oh yeah, the bigger it gets, the, f- yeah, the harder it gets. Yeah, you'd have to go way out to the moon. Yeah, if you get to the moon, you could see it. Wow. And that's what I'm saying. Until we have access like that, there'd be no way to quant empirically, like with our eyes, a sense sensationally, the, some kind of phenomenological experience. We won't be able to prove it. That doesn't mean it's not a globe. That does not mean we don't have bigger, smaller Earth, round Earth, flat Earth, triangle Earth. Maybe it's all just a big pyramid. Who knows? Maybe we're at Octagon, the 108s. <clears throat> we can't prove it, though, until we all can, anybody can easily go to the moon. Somebody has proven it. Somebody's got the pudding. And his name is Jackie Chan. Uh, what about Bird? He, you know, Jackie Chan went around the Earth in 80 days. In a air balloon. Yes. Excellent. And he took his humble sidekick. Um, Chris Rock. Yeah. Is that where the Rush movie came from? Or is it Rush? Or what's that movie that they made? Uh, Rush Hour. Was it? 
Probably. I don't know. What, there's no, a common I'm talking movie. about uh, the one where they flew around the earth. I think it was in a hot air balloon or something. I don't know. Well, anyway, so he proved it that the earth is small <clears throat> and um, it's a small world after all. Shout out to Disney. Walt. He didn't prove it's, if it's hollow or not. That's TBD. To be discovered. Well, yeah, there's all kinds of weird stuff with that because the oceans prove there is a lot of space from where our land is to another land, clearly the bottom of the ocean. So there's two separate land masses. There's your continent <clears throat> land, and then there's the seafloor land. So clearly there's a big chasm of space. So, I mean, we're talking uh, the, the Mount Everest doesn't even... It easily covers the Mount of Everest. If that much space is between the seafloor and the continent top, anything could live in between. No, anything at all. I mean, there's been these big uh, sinkholes that pop up with an ecosystem already inside. Well, they say that there's a, there's um, the center of the Earth has its own sun, its own moon, and yeah, because it's all Project Bluebeam. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, Project Bluebeam, DARPA. Weather. Yeah. Also check out Project Goldbeam. <laughs> <laughs> Oper- <Toilet> time. <laughs> Operation Northwood. Uh, Operation Grip Grain. Operation Sun- Sunshine. You know, that's where... That's the Sunshine been, State. <clears throat> that's been declassified. That's back when they didn't know what the human flesh would react to to atomic bombs. So they had to take babies and other dead, uh, dead bodies and... And they didn't tell the public either, but a lot of them were babies. <clears throat> and they put them all lined up close to the edge of where they were going to drop an atomic bomb. And then they would go back after the bomb has exploded to see how bad it melted the flesh. And it's called Project Sunshine. People should check it out. It's, it's pretty crazy. They finally told people what happened. But <clears throat> yeah, a lot of the people that buried their babies and loved ones uh, the government just came and took all their bodies and uh, used them for test. I feel like people already kind of knew because I remember um, my father <laughs> would uh, joke about that a lot. And there was like, you'll see it in like comedians. They'll show like videos of a dog with two tails or a kid with three arms or something. And they're, just but these were all dead. They, they, the experiment was to see how bad it would destroy the flesh. Like, what, what's the magnitude of its destruction upon human flesh? So they use dead corpse. But and you guys can check Operation Fishbowl, which that's the idea that they were shooting atomic bombs at the firmament to see if they could, if there was something up there that was restricting them from going into outer space. <clears throat> There's all kinds of weird stuff, you know, the Philadelphia experiment. Yeah, MK Ultra, all these things people know. Gateway Project. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff out there. Wow. Nine Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Project Ultra, which you already said. Yeah, thermite. But anyways, there's this conspiracy about Bambi's mom. I don't know if people remember in the movie Bambi, Bambi's mom gets shot. I remember that. Yeah. But they don't show you who shot Bambi's mom. The theory is, is because Walt Disney was trying to save money because it was so expensive to make new characters, they used a lot of characters in multiple different movies. So the idea is <clears throat> they didn't show you who shot Bambi because they're going to use that character in a different episode. And so the theory is it's that it's humble to Hunterman in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And if you guys, were, if you're not familiar, go look at it. And you can look up just Humble the Hunterman, and you can see this ep- this episode, the section of the movie where he's inside of a lodge, talking about how good he's at hunting and everything. Then all of a sudden, it zooms out, and he's by a fireplace, and there's a whole bunch of deers, deer heads, on the back. <clears throat> and so the idea is, he went out there hunting, shot Bambi's mom. And put her on the wall. And he went out hunting during that time frame. And it matches the time frame that the two movies look in correlation with when she got shot. So 
you said he put her on his wall. Does it actually show a scene? It shows. It shows the if you go to that scene, it shows that he has a bunch of these mounted deer heads, multiple deer heads. So it's like making the illusion he likes hunting deers, specifically deers. Yeah. And he's getting ready to go hunting again. So the idea is is that she possibly was one of the deer heads. Did you know there's a conspiracy about the Titanic movie? No. You know that woman, Rose, the main actress? Yeah. There's three conspiracies that deal with her. And about Jack, the guy, you know, the guy who was played by Leonardo DiCaprio. <clears throat> Either it's a figment of her imagination. She dreamed it up because she was already depressed and didn't want to live. Because, you know, in the beginning of the movie, she was about to jump off the boat and commit suicide. But out of nowhere, here comes Jack that says, hey, hey, hey. So either it was a figment of her imagination that was created by her own mind so that it would preserve her life and not kill herself because he comes out of nowhere. <clears throat> Second theory is that he was a ghost because when they crash, you know, the, the boat sinks and they're out there on that like, and she's sitting on top of the bed and he's down there at the water. <clears throat> All of a sudden she doesn't see him anymore. And then she does see him, but then she doesn't see him. And so it's alluding the fact that possibly he was a ghost just there to save her life, to make sure she gets on the bed, to make sure she lives, but then he just drifts away into the deep. And the third theory is that he's a time traveler. <clears throat> and the reason why is because the things that he talks about, because this was said in 1912. The things he talks about didn't exist until like 1917 and 1950. Or 1917 or 1915, something like that. So if he would talk about these things, and he's alluding to these facts, like there's a lake uh, called Lake Wissota, but it it's a man-made lake, but it didn't get established, I think, until 1916. But this was 1912. So he's talking about this lake that he's familiar with, but it's four years in the future. So how did he already know this was going to exist before the lake existed? Probably because a uh, producer error. Because if he was a time traveler and if that lake didn't exist in that time, and it obviously didn't, um, the woman would have asked him, what's that lake? Well, that's they probably didn't even know what this place is. Like probably some small man-made lake. But he talked about that's where he was from. They wouldn't know that. They're rich people. Not only that, another thing is in San Ma Monica, he, he mentions about roller coasters. But the roller coasters on the piers wasn't there until 1916. But this was 1912. And so he says, oh, yeah, the roller coasters on the piers in Santa Monica. But that was four years ahead of time. They weren't there yet. Yeah, but he, uh, it all just seems like producer error. It Unless could be. he mentioned time well, we're, we're, travel or hinted is, it at all. This is all production. Clearly, it's a movie. But the idea is maybe Jack really was just a time traveler in the movie. The movie's a movie. We're not saying the movie was real. No, I'm saying like it just seems like the producers slipped up. They didn't get their facts straight with the time and all that stuff. And that's it. It could have been. Now, the one thing they could have done on purpose was the ghost thing or the figment of her imagination. That one probably sounds the most plausible because I know a lot of people well, do at that. The, well, because at the end of the movie also what adds to the her imagination, it, it was just a concoction of her imagination, was at the end people say there's no record of Jack. There, there was never a record of anybody named Jack whatever getting on the boat. So there apparently has never been a record of this guy named oh, Jack. See. Yeah. But he could have just been a, uh, what do you call those strays? Uh, those people who just jump on the boat and hide in like little areas on the boat so they can get a free ride. So yeah, they didn't, stow away. Yeah, they could got it. They, he could have been one of those. But regardless, there's this theory that it was all just either a figment imagination, it was a ghost, or he's a time traveler. Anyways, it was a good set. <laughs> Appreciate you guys joining in for us on this episode, and we'll see you guys in the next one.